Thank you all for coming though to chat about the show. I really appreciate it. You had to brush up on your architecture knowledge for this show, huh? Right, yeah. Um, I actually think it's funny that I've, I've always seen Jane as more of an um, kind of architect historian in a way. I think she wants to be an architect, but I think she's actually, she's kind of like, she's just a big dork. Yeah. I'm actually a big dork, so it's a good, good fit, you know? <laughs> Is it a nice turn for you to do sort of suspenseful kind of horror type stuff? Yes, absolutely. I'm a big fan of the genre, um, and I grew up to my against my parents' better judgment watching movies like Omen, Rosemary's Baby, The Exorcist. Actually, when I was kind of quite young, Mum, but um, <laughs> but I, I'm. I just love, I love that it pushes human beings to their limits, because they're the really, those ends of the spectrum are the really fun places to play as an actor. Um, basically you're dealing with life or death or an eerie instinct or, or stuff that's kind of very kind of fun to all around with on a day-to-day -day basis, so I'm really lucky. Um, and it just, I don't know, this, this show for me really feels like the right fit. I don't know why. And, you know, you never know how well something is going to do or how poorly it's going to do, but I I don't want to be doing anything other than this. You know, I, I, I really relate to the character. Um, I'm kind of a lot like Jane in a way. Even though she feels like she's really perky and kind of a little bit innocent, she just, you know, she's a simple kind of creature that assumes the best of people. And at the moment we meet her in, in the pilot, she's just happy to be there. Um, and obviously we're going to see that kind of incrementally shift and she's going to start trusting her instincts about the building a little bit more, I think. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. She's more of a thinker than one, than I think she's first presented. Totally. Yeah. And that's one of the things that I, I wouldn't want people to look at the pilot and assume that she's like the dumb blonde in the haunted house. She's not. But but when you're in a serialised television, like it's my job to just play what I'm given in that one script and then build it as the series goes on. So I think we meet her at a moment where she's just like, I love the man I'm with, I've moved to New York, this building's amazing, I'm gonna make it work. I'm really excited to be here and everything's great. But I think you can, I'm just, I hope that you can just see slight layered right back behind her eyes that she's like, God, what if, what if it's not okay? What if maybe I'm, I'm getting a sense that something might not be kind of quite right here? And um, and I think we, I'm going to ramp that up as the series kind of goes on. In the pilot, Jean really gets drawn to the building and you, um, Jean investigates the basement and finds kind of the hidden areas and that. Um, does she does the the building kind of become a character and that she kind of is drawn to and how, yeah. you you're on the money. I was like actually, how that I, plays out, like the relationship yes. between Jane and the building. Yeah. Yes, I, I I mean I don't know because I don't have a script, but but I, I think what I wanted to say in the panel, which I didn't get a chance to, was that the building is more of a character than maybe any of us. Um, and I think um, it's inside the building that um, the building is going to teach Jane and teach the audience. Um, the, the nature of um, Gavin Doran's relationship with the dark side or the devil or whatever his spouse did kind of bargains are. I think, I think the clues are in the building. The clues are in the architecture. Um, we just don't know quite how to translate them yet, but I think that's kind of going to be Jane's job. She's going to start going through the history books and going through the plans and start unpicking and she's probably going to piece together whatever whatever evil thing is going on. I think the clue is in the building. There's I an interesting think. line that Gavin has about how she's how we get to Henry, talking about Jane. Yeah. So, I mean, we sort of, does that sort of mean that she's sort of just their plaything and they're going to do whatever they need to and they're not as concerned with her? Or? Yeah. I mean, I want to say that I, I hope... I hope they underestimate Jane. Yeah. I mean, that is my my wish, I guess, for the show, is that she looks very innocent and looks like she's going to be this kind of conduit between, um, uh, you know, Gavin and Olivia um, Duran and, and her husband. But actually, and I, I think she is going to serve as a conduit between evil and good for a while, but I think as she pieces those clues together, she's going to start to challenge it a little bit more. 
um, I say that without really knowing for sure, but that's my impression of, of based on what I know. I know it's, it says it's based on a novel. Are you familiar with the novel at all? I, I read the book. I read there's three books, and I, I read all three of them, and, and I can't see um, other than the title really any any okay. common commonalities. But, but I really enjoyed the books. They're super sexy and fun. Um, and I took a couple of little ideas about character, but but they're very kind of very different. I really got an impression after watching the pilot, like at the beginning that Jane is very, almost kind of resistant to, to the excesses of the rich, and by the end she's slowly seduced yes. by it. That's a really good point. Um, are we going to see more of that, that continue? Yeah, I, I think, I don't think she's uh, the kind of person that will take, I don't think she's a taker, but I, I think... Um, Part of what um, Olivia and Gavin Duran, um, Duran, sorry, do is that they just kind of hook you in. It's like the dress is really an important kind of turning point in a way that she says, "Oh no, I, I would never like this box too much. I don't, I don't want this from you, as sweet as it is." But Olivia gives it to her anyway, and then of course she puts it on, and of course she enjoys it. And I think that's kind of how they operate. Um, kind of, do you guys know the, the um, story? They they made it a, a movie as well. Um, Needful Things by Stephen King. There's certain elements that that remind me of that a little bit, and I, I'm interested to see how as Jane's life becomes more and more glamorous and more and more sexy, <coughs> where her limits are or where her limits aren't. Yeah, but that's really well picked. I watched that. I remember shooting it and, and having that feeling, going like, oh, she's changing. Until of course that moment on the bed where she's like, yeah, that was great, and I'm drunk, and it was champagne, and it was beautiful, and the dress is gorgeous, but oh my god, is something, is this picture quite right? Mm -hmm. I think, I, I want to see her kind of pose those in In this type of unfolding big mystery type of aspect to a show, do you like to know as much as possible about what's coming, or do you want to take it as you know episode by episode of what's coming as an actor? So what what, do you, what would you prefer? Um, I would prefer to, to to not know. I would prefer to go episode by episode. I kind of am really I, I really love working in television. I really do. I it's just such a fun. It's such a good fit for me. Um, because I like that you don't get the script until like the like I'm dying to get the next episode. Like I'm bugging David Wilcox and Matt Miller every single day saying, please, please give me the next script. But I love that they're just going to drop it on us the day before. Because <laughs> it keeps us on our toes and, and you have to create and invent kind of quickly. And and it's amazing, like spontaneity is kind of a really fun thing. Not that I don't want to do my homework, but, but I, I it'll be fun for us to get to be surprised by what the writers come up with. Like, as far as I know, episode three, Jane could be working as a devil. You know, I have no idea. And I, I will really welcome that. If Maybe I'm the bad guy. I don't know. I don't think that's likely, but, but if I am, like, what a fun, cool thing to play as an actor. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thanks for um, watching it, guys. I really, I really appreciate it.